Warning, I swear a lot. Hey, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So today's episode is going to be off to a horrifically slow start because there is going to be so much goddamn prep work to do. Now, would it be smart for me to just do the prep work off camera? Yeah, kinda. But, as well as showing you guys, you know, really properly just sharing the experience of doing a playthrough of this game with you, like, it's kind of the intention of the series, it also, I also kind of want it to be something of a guide as well, like, if someone's struggling with doing a nightmare playthrough, I'm hoping that this will help, like, seeing me do this will help, and prep is a huge part of doing a nightmare playthrough. Hang on a minute, actually, I have... I have notes. I have notes on my fucking nightmare playthrough. Going by past me's notes... Oh man, stamina restored would be good. Nah. What we need, we need easy to miss. Definitely need easy to miss, because the parry is all well and good. But it won't save us from everything, like, say, arrows. We need to make sure we're not getting hit. We should probably do everyone's levels, actually. We'll, we'll do this nice and quick. So, Cassandra... Did I cover this? The Vanguard skill tree. Yes. Getting a bonus time when you have active guard. Yes. And then, we've got, yeah, we're gonna wanna be able to do that all the goddamn time. Call them out, excellent. Okay, that's that sorted. Solace, the focus is going to be on Barrett's spirit magic forever and always. Basically everything here really is what we're gonna want. Definitely get him Peaceful Aura, because we don't want people attacking him either. Good, excellent. Varric, this is less defined, because sadly, another- two rogues is not part of my ideal lineup. Um, but I guess we'd want to get him easy to miss as well, so he's not being targeted either. We want them to target Cassandra. That's it. Now, before we do all of that prep work, we are actually going to want to head inside and speak to them, because we want to get that operations table shit going. Wow. Does it trouble you? I mean... Kinda. A little bit. Where does it come from? I just wish I knew what it was. Or how I got it. I know both those we things. We will find out. What's important is that your mark is now stable. As is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. Oh yeah. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Yeah, just pump more power into my arm. Just, yeah, just, just get a mage to just fucking cone of cold right into my mark. That sounds great. Couldn't that kind of power just make things worse? And <laughs> people call me a pessimist. It's called realism. Don't ignore my question. <laughs> hey, gang. How's it going? May I don't I present recognize two of you. Commander Cullen. Leader of the Inquisition's forces. I remember you from Dragon Age 1. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Likewise. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. Sup. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Cool. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. She's clearly very good at it. It's a pleasure. It's nice to meet you all. Nice Hello. You all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Might blow my arm Templars off. could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. Isn't the magic being poured into the mark capable. also pure speculation? Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Ouch. That was quick. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Oh, they're doing that Some too. Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. I doubt he had Between that much influence. Options, approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Are they gonna, like, fucking, um, lay siege to the place? Because I've played quite a bit of Total War and I'm quite good at siege defense. Kinda. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. 
There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Sounds good to me. Yep, that's I'll great. See what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. God, because there are so we fucking need many. to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. I fear we're going to be spending multiple episodes in the Hinterlands because there is so much to do there. But I can't worry about that right now. We're not even going to get there yet. First of all, we got to fucking unlock the place. War table. Do you, if I'm playing on Nightmare, do you think I need a tutorial? Mother Have Giselle. You any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. Thank you. Mother Giselle was last seen in the hinterlands outside Redcliffe, tending refugees who had fled the fighting between renegade Templars and apostate mages. The latest reports suggest that the vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the hinterlands, catching the refugees, and Mother Giselle, in the middle. It is vital to protect her, and, if possible, you know, sort that shit out. If Giselle dies, any hope of Chantry support dies with her. My scouts will slip past the fighting, find her, and protect her with their lives, because scouts are so good at holding the line. In my experience. Alright, yeah, yeah, this cutscene is always out of sync. Yep, every single time. I thought it was my PS3 when I used to play this on my PS3, but no, this cutscene is just fucked. They haven't patched it, they ain't done nothing, it's so blatant. This is a PS3, PS4 game. Now granted, it was not well made for PS3, right? It only came out on PS3 so people could play it at severe performance deficit. But even on PS4, this game is not particularly well put together. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. I've said that before, but there is some fucking scruff in this game. Some serious scruff. Like, you think my videos are kind of scruffy, and they are. Oof. We avoided the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars are pretty much the same. We located Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That would be hard to do without declaring all-out war. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but no such luck. Would you like to go there now? No. Funny enough, I would not because we've got things to do. The Black Emporium, definitely gonna want that. Is this instant? It appears to be instant. Yes, it's instant. Ship's been secured. It's a fucked up place, Inquisitor. Please be careful. Why are they calling me Inquisitor? I haven't been named the Inquisitor yet. Cullen, you're dropping spoilers, bruv. That's my job. All right, so we may as well have these thingies, these little operations going on while I'm, you know, actually doing shit. Right from an Inquisition diplomat to Ambassador Montelier. Dear Lady Montelier, it is true. Distant relations of the House Trevelyan are claiming close friendship with the Herald of Andraste. A boast is one matter, but the boundaries of tact and decency appear to be invisible to these mountebanks. During a ball in the South Quarter, I witnessed a cousin five times removed from Lord Trevelyan threaten to have the Inquisition fight his rival. He quickly left the party after I made my connection with the Inquis Inquisition clear, but the problem stands. We must deal with the Herald's relatives taking his name in vain. I should stop reading all of these. There are far too many. We'll go, Josephine. It's fine. I can skip this. This is not important to you guys, actually, at all. I don't need to be reading through all this. This is a good one. You send Cullen to help the refugees instead of Lord Kildarn, right. because Lord Kildarn is a stupid nerd. And then, last but not least... Now, you want to actually send someone properly to that. This one requires Liliana, doesn't it? Let's see what we have. Some of these are difficult. Like, some of these operations are difficult to gauge, but I typically find that the right or wrong choice kind of is based on how confident the representative is of their plan, right? If you're, if the, for instance, if, you, if you're going to do something and Cullen's like, oh, I guess I could send some soldiers, that's probably not the right choice. Whereas if Liliana has said, I can send some people in to sort that out straight away, she probably, that's probably a good idea and she probably knows what's up. Let's head to the Black Emporium. There's stuff we're going to want to get. This doesn't matter. To be completely honest, this is kind of, this is a bit of an indulgent series. So it's not going to be, you know, if you like Inquisition, if you like Dragon Age, 
I think you'll enjoy this. If you don't, it may be a bit of a struggle at times. I'm, maybe my expert commentary will carry it, but I doubt that somehow. What's up, my main? How's it going? antagonize Chauncey the tiny bear. Ooh. He may be small, but he nips. Is that Chauncey? He is so cute. Look at the tiny bear. <laughs> Look, he's running away. There's a tiny bear. His name is Chauncey. Let me see if I can get a good... Chauncey, come here, Chauncey. Chauncey. That's not what I... Okay, I didn't mean to actually buy... I, funny enough, I can't afford any of that. How much money do I have? 518. Okay. Little Chauncey, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. He is a strange man, admittedly. <laughs> Handle the mirror with care. It has been known to bite. Noted. There's going to be a lot of going backwards and forwards because I'm going to need to also see what I'm working with back at base. Oh, this is where he sells materials. Excellent. Good. That'll be important. You don't have to be too over the top in terms of your uh, optimization when it comes to making stuff and building stuff, but... It's good to keep an eye on. Oh, I remember back on the PS3 version of this game, if you went to the Antiquarium and then went back to Haven, it, all the sound in the game would cut out and it would eventually crash. That's what I mean when I say this game is not particularly well stitched together. Let's grab everything that's not nailed down. I don't see why we need to build siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. That's Naive, my friend. Recruit. But if someone comes to lay siege to us, perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, to be fair to that poor little recruit, it took me a very long time to realize in strategy games that I kind of needed siege weapons to hit people back <laughs> during sieges. I would just sit there and tank the fucking siege rounds instead of trying to hit them in return. Oh my god, that is an incredibly long... No, we're not reading that. It's just siege weapons, man. Jesus Christ. They're all just trebuchets in this game anyway. No, we're going to have to start skipping some of these. I read some of them in the last episode for Farnsies, but we've got so much to do today. We do not have time. My voice is not particularly special anyway. Neither is my means of reading or my my vernacular. It's, you know, it, it'll be fine. You can either hit, watch me read things and this will take much longer, or I can just talk anyway and we'll get on with it. Seems... Uh, we should speak to Varric. How's it going, man? What's up? So... Now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from no. being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm efficient. I'm just fucking, I'm alive, man. That's something. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. Yeah. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. And me. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. So why did you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I was quite fortunate. It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad. I didn't specify you might for a reason. Running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky. That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. I'm quite good at those two. I am quite good at those actually. Don't worry about it too much, my friend. It'll be fine. Ooh, loot. Pennies? Ah, pennies. And materials. That is literally everything I could want. Enchanter? Yeah. The dragon's crooked spine will never straighten into line. What we flee will be of course. a faithful hero. I've done an arrest. Hi, Flissa. Are you him? You are the herald of Andraste. It's me, hi. She sent you to us to show the world her love. And I am ready for that love. Uh, it's not given no. that freely, I'm afraid. I'm not ready for that kind of love. That is, unless that's what you want. But, uh, I mean, 
I'm Flissa. Can I get you a drink? That would be a good start. That would be a good start. It's all right, Flissa. I won't do anything frightening. If you wanted to close the breach, I wouldn't mind. I'm working on it. As I said, I'm Flissa. The Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind, so Leliana pulled me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fast. But it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. I'm fucking, I'm singing the songs, the bops, the tunes, bruv, I ain't even listening to you. Oh, hey, a book. I used to hate Enchanter, but it's actually one of my favourite songs now, and I don't know why. Can you come to see as you once were blind? Hey Solace, how's it going? Fucking, how could you wear that in the snow? I have to wear like a puffy jacket and a scarf and I'm still chilly. The Chosen of Andraste. The blessed hero sent to save us all. It, it sounds dashing, does it not? Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested a griffon. But sadly they're extinct. Or are they? Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. It is. People need a figurehead. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. This is a fairly on-the-nose question with fairly on-the-nose answers. Do you go for the noble answer, the selfish answer, or the asshole answer? Or do you ask more questions? What do you mean, ruins? If you want to increase your standing with solace, always ask him questions. The rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. Fascinating. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. And you sleep there. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I don't buy that spiders, that giant spiders, would be content to live and let live. Even though they probably would. But still, I don't buy that. Also, I could not sleep in a location that was within five miles of a giant spider. Uh, sorry, Solace, that's a very valuable thing that you do. I imagine you find some amazing things in there, alongside all the demons. Exactly. It is occasionally dangerous, yes. But more often it's just sad to see what has been lost. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. Not even for this shiny Charizard Pokémon card? At least until the breach has been closed. Is cool. that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Eh, we're not really with Chantry anymore. Has been accommodated, but you understand my caution. Cassandra will keep you safe, buddy. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. I doubt it. I think we're fucked. But that's okay. It's a video game. Potions! How could I forget about potions? Yes, the apothecary. Alright, potions, 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 potions. Okay, potions. Excellent. Potions. Grenades. You see? You see? Well, I mean, you don't actually, because apparently I don't know them. But there is only one grenade you need. The rest are practically worthless. Tonics? Pretty much all of them are worthless. You don't need them. All you need is healing potions and regeneration potions. Unfortunately, I can't make a regeneration potion. I can't do anything here. F fuck, I guess. Um, quit potions? I have another potion slot. Could I? Ah. Yes, okay. Luckily, I can still have regeneration potions. So there you go. When you're going on long stretches through, you know, enemy territory, you can have those. Heal up your dudes when they get damaged, and then they can use the proper health potions in the middle of combat. There's a thing over here, what is it? What is it? It's a loot chest! Oh god, pennies? No, light adventure armor. Ooh, mage only, fuck. Hey guys, the Christian weapons, how do I feel special orders? I bring them to you, yes, 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 yes. There we go, I saw it now. She wants weapons. Well, I mean, I guess we all want weapons. That's gonna waste a bunch of my iron, but we do need power. Shut the hell up. Go away, I hate you.
Yeah, it's good. Got some influence. Happy. I go in here, but now a cutscene. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If you can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. That's great. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the bridge. That's me, by the way. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. And very bold. How does Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Could you stop murmuring, bruv? I can barely understand you. Of this arrangement. His followers need People shelter, man. Injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. How very gracious of you, you fucking egg. Get out of here. Let's hope his arrogance doesn't return. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, no. will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. I have so much work to do before the day is done, Josephine. You have no idea. I literally so I fucking have to do everything. I need to turn in the research. That leveled me up. I read this, more experience, and uh, there's a loot chest, but I can't have it. Whatever, I leveled up. See, this is good. We'll be going into the, the hinterland to level four instead. Oh, fuck, I need to check my notes. Yeah, we'll go this way. Getting us a, a, a bit a way for us to heal ourselves means our allies can use the potions. That's good. Damage bonus against demons. Excellent. Oh, I'm doing a lot of good things, and now I have to leave here again. Uh, I didn't actually come here for either of those things. I think Colin finished his research, didn't he? Or his operations. Now we have to go sort that out so we can be time efficient. I don't even know if there's any more operations to do right now, but we'll have a look, I guess. Sometimes operations unlock more operations, sometimes they don't. Fucking Lord Kildan's super angry because we helped refugees and it got us influence, so I'm happy. Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? No, I don't care. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try. I like the de the attention to detail they had there and the way they sort of, I don't know, programmed that scene so that the Josephine and Cullen were having their conversation even as we were leaving the screen. The two character models were talking. Their mouths were moving. Moving? Their mouths were moving. Our experience is good, now we go downstairs. I'm lucky, I can do this because I'm a rogue. I can. Now, if you're not playing as a rogue, then no need to fear. There, is, When you a rogue who isn't Varric shows... I think... I don't think Varric can do it. But when another rogue shows up, and you'll know when you see her, you can ask her to pick the locks for you, and then you can come down here and take the stuff. here we should talk to her too hi Liliana what's going on blessed are the peacekeepers the champions of the just yep. blessed are the righteous the lights in the shadow that's us in their blood the maker's will is written is that what you want from us blood to die so that your will is done pretty much is death your only blessing yes 100% you speak fandraste no what does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? First of all, I'm not the Prophet at all. Second of all, I don't care. Third of all, I don't believe in the Maker. But, having said that, for the sake of Liliana's happiness, I find it's best to uh, let her keep her faith. I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. 
Then we can only guess at what he wants. Yeah, it's kind of religion, isn't it? In a nutshell. The Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. It's true, that did happen. Sorry. You are sure right. Our death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? Not much. I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose. I remember for me, that. Working with the divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. I will help you somehow. Maybe you have another purpose. <laughs> I don't know, I man. I'm just trying it. to say the right things. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. They have to make no promises to, to work, me. Then. We will speak later. I just looked at the capture, and by this amount of time in the last episode, we had fallen out of the Fade, met four of the main characters, killed several demons, and we're on our way to a boss fight. And in this one, I've talked to some people and picked up some stuff, and I, I fuck. Oh, God. I don't care. This is what this series is. This is what it is. I will try to minimize it as best I can, but this is what it is. You know, this is how you would play Dragon Age anyway, especially if you were going through the first time, but also if you're doing it on Nightmare, you do have to go grab all this stuff, and you need to look at all the notes and get all the experience, and you need to talk to people to move forward quest lines because they will help you later. And also, if you're going to go to all the effort of actually playing through Dragon Age, do the fucking side quests. It makes it more satisfying. You know, what's the point in putting in all this time and effort only to not play it properly, I guess? There's no real way to play these games properly. You play it how you want, but still. You need to talk to people. It's that kind of game. You sell a bunch of shit to Sir... Sergi... Saggy... Siggy. If it's not blue, we don't need to keep it, because we'll be smithing our own stuff. So... This stuff can go, because it's... kind of garbage. Life Ward Amulet. Fuck off. Ring of Critical Chance, we can keep that. Now we've got 800. What do you mean Mother Giselle will do that? She's not even here. The game's freaking itself out. Why did I revere to defend a bolt? Why did I get things? Windows? What? The fuck? Synchronized collectible. <gasps> oh. I forgot how important it was to synchronize collectibles because now I have schematics. Lucky. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that is a good thing you should do on your playthrough as well, because if you're playing this game on Nightmare, it's likely not your first time playing. So, acquired some stuff. Excellent. But like I said, likely not your first time playing the game, so make sure you get your fucking schematics from the previous game. We'll talk to Cassandra first. Hi, Cassandra. Hang up there. It's collectibles. Get your foot off that chest, soldier. I need it. Good stuff to sell. Or dismantle. You know, whatever. Elf root, gonna need it. I just, oh my god. No, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. This is exactly what this needs to be. And I don't blame anyone who decides that this is not what they want to sit here and watch. I've been, I've been getting upset and complaining about it all day. I'm over it. It's fine. How's it going, Cassandra? What's up? That was not in sync. Don't mind me, I'm just swooning over here. You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I do. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? Probably not. <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. You had, you had to do it. You didn't have any choice. I mean, that's not how I would have phrased it. <laughs> My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. Too late for I that. I see what must be done, and I do it. 
I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing I'm still getting head. schematics. I have so many. But I misjudged you. <laughs> Look. Me, did I not? Look at it. I thought the answer was before me. I did that Here one five minutes ago. I cannot afford to be so careless. Again. I got an Alicia bed. That's good. <laughs> They're still coming. <laughs> I have so many schematics. You have no idea. When I previously, like, I already had a bunch when I did my first Nightmare playthrough, but on my actual Nightmare playthrough, which was, like, my second or third playthrough of the game, I did everything. Like, I didn't half ass my Nightmare playthrough. I didn't do the bare minimum to complete the game. I hunted all the dragons. I did all the DLC. I completed all the areas. I played the game. <laughs> Proper. I can't remember what Cassandra said. Well, I had to hear it. Can't say I'm not grateful to hear that. I can be harsh, I know. Me, well, we all can. Oh, Josephine's ready. That's good. You've said you don't believe. Oh, Cassandra your approved. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? I will. I'll be fair and say I don't know. I can't really say. I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. I can't believe how much stuff synchronizing gets you. And I completely forgot about synchronizing as well. That's the crazy thing. I was going to try and build up my schematics from scratch, which would have been horrifically pointless. My chair keeps moving. <laughs> if you hear me adjusting, that's why it keeps sliding around. I hate having a chair on wheels. It sucks. Fuck you. Excuse me, lads. Hi, Colin. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Clog with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Shields are for nerds. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. Cullen is so fucking cool. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I like to stand out. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. Everything's a fucking mess. Conclave destroyed, a giant hole in the sky. Things aren't looking good. Which is why we're needed. The Chantry True. lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. I mean, I'm not going to flirt with you, bruv, but... You know, I really appreciate the fact that you're thinking Even this through. A lot of thought. I know what happens when order is lost and action comes too late. There's still a lot of work. Yeah, for Elden Circle Tower was a nightmare, wasn't Sir it? Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Yeah, I've got a lot to do as well. <laughs> I shouldn't be stood here talking to Cullen right now. I've got things to do. Oh, 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 while I'm here, actually. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it, while I'm here. There are things to be found. There are multiple things to be found here, actually. There's, like two logging stands, I think, on this map. Oh, God, I need to remember where they are. Shit. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Who goes? So we came from there. It's literally just around the corner. If you go down here, I believe... Yeah, I know. Thank you. It wants to be a search there for stuff. I, here. I believe this is where you find Master Tigan's notes. Which allows you to get, like, another recipe, I think. Yeah, those are Tigan's notes. Excellent. And then I believe, I believe, if memory serves, if you go around the back here... dum de dum de diddly dee humby bumby fiddly fee Go from Tigan's house, out these doors. Somewhere around here, it's fairly prominent, but you can miss it. I know it's around here somewhere, I know it's around here somewhere. Not the Druffalo, I've seen them. The sweet little Druffles. Where the fuck is it? I know there's one around here. I know there's a thing. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Especially you, Ghost Snapper. God damn it. Oh no, where is it? I know it's here. 
I think I've gone way past it as well. All right, so I was wrong. It's not fucking prominent at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, I've completely... F I've ruined the playthrough. Ah, oh, crap. Curse my need to do a nightmare playthrough. I could have just done a normal playthrough and we'd be halfway through the hinterlands by now. No, I had to be like, Hey, guys. To perform and play stuff here, and today we're gonna fucking play a nightmare playthrough. Like some kind of fucking dickhead who doesn't want to enjoy video games and just wants a challenge. Me, me, me. That's my impression of myself, by the way. Let me know in the comments how accurate it was. Where the fuck is it? You can't tell me. It's not here. I. Oh. And you run so fucking slowly. Oh my god. Just shut up, you stupid priest. I swear, Christ. There's two mages over there, probably plotting to kill us all. That's what they do, that's their thing, it's their shtick. Birds fly, fish swim, the mages try and get us all killed. I can't go up there, apparently. <laughs> Where the hell is it? What the hell is this? Why can't I find the stupid thing? I'm so stupid. I'm the dumbest let's player who has ever existed, and I'm stupid, and I was stupid for thinking I could ever make a show when I'm like this. Look at all this iron. Come over here near Tigan's house if you want iron, and you're gonna want iron at the start of the game. It's very important. It's all here. Just grab it. Twelve seconds later. This is absurd. I know- There! 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 I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Yes, a logging stand! There's a logging stand out here! That's what I wanted to find! Oh my god, that took so fucking long! How close was I when I was here before? Pretty fucking close, actually. Oh, that's frustrating. So there you go. You go out through those giant gates, and it's forward and to the right. There's a clump of trees, it's a little hard to see, but hey, if you didn't know that was there, go get that logging stand. It's not particularly obscure, right? But Haven is not always available to you, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So it's good to get that logging stand while you can. There are a lot of free resources here you can make use of, and if you're doing a nightmare playthrough, I would highly recommend making use of them. Elf fruit iron, lots of iron, and there are, yeah, little nugs around here as well. Now, if you're playing a melee character, good fucking luck trying to catch them, but sometimes it works. Like, you can get them. There we go. One down. And that does get you experience, though I would not use this for grinding. Do not grind on nugs. A, because it's frowned upon in general society, and B, you get two experience each time, so what's the point? But their leather is quite valuable at this early point in the game. However, sometimes they don't drop it. So sometimes you, you chase one around for like 20 minutes and they don't give you anything. And you just start crying, I guess. That's what I usually do. All right, well, we grabbed a bunch of materials and that will help us. But here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. We're not just making equipment for ourselves. We're making equipment for three other characters at the moment. Later on in the game, we're going to be making more equipment for more characters. So loot, we're going to need all of it. Rugged dagger stuff, very good. See, it, while it's annoying to have had to have done all of this shit and been so fucking slow about it, it's worth pointing out, you don't want to come over here, start making stuff, then look around, find more shit, and be like, oh, I could have made more stuff. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. I don't care about you. I want that sweet, sweet nug skin. That's what you need. You may end up having to kill more than a few of these things for the purposes of gaining materials. Hey, little fuck. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. I got you! Liliana would be absolutely mortified. But you know what? She'll get over it. I need stuff. She would be less concerned if I was skinning people. So you know what? I'm not too worried. But yeah. Oh, hello. Got you. Got you. Got you. Give me that nug skin. Good shit. You go up here, you go along here, you can't go through that gate, however, there is some, there's a, there's a readable, which is great, extra experience, good stuff, and some loot, which you will want, definitely. Bunch of materials, which is great, some pennies, always want pennies, there's just a bloody corpse over here that we haven't cleaned up or anything, there's multiple bloody corpses that we haven't cleaned up or anything, but that's fine. We're just a holy sanctuary, it's not a big deal, we don't have standards. It didn't drop anything. <laughs> Woe is me. Woe is me. Crying. This is the sound of me crying. Nothing. Still crying. Uh, third time's a charm. 
Nope. Oh my god. Fourth time's for real, though. Go on, go on, you little bastard. <gasps> no, it didn't drop anything. <laughs> Not the most reliable way to get leather, but unfortunately it is free, so you have to consider it that way sometimes. What's up, you little bitch? Five? Yes, fifth time's the charm, which is extremely upsetting. All right, let's start by trying to craft weapons because there's a particular, oh my ass, weapon here that I want. Barbarian rock crashes. These weapons are fucking good. Really good. Let's just have a quick look through because there's some really cool stuff here. Like, that's cool. That's all right. That's neat. That's really cool. Oh God, the dual spike blade is nice. There are some really cool weapons you can get in this game. Unfortunately, there are significantly less armor pieces you can get in this game. But let's get those uh, rock crashes because they are good. Hopefully I can, yeah, I know how to make them, thank you. Stop. As far as I can tell, we'll have to make it out of iron, but that's fine. Druffalo. I'll get some Druffalo hide on that. Oh my god, you need so much leather to make this thing. It's plus three, so we'll want... We'll want some decks on this thing. Precise Shrewd Dirk. We'll call this one Rip. And we'll call this one Tear. There we go. These weapons are fantastic. Not only because they are generally good stats anyway, but they count... Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. But they count as dual blades, which means... You hit everything around you. When you combine this with the rogue's ability to hit less target, like to be less noticed, lower threat and all that, combine it with leeching poison and stuff like that, combining that again with parry, so when you're drawing a bit more attention to yourself because you're hitting everyone, you can then parry the attacks, and you can parry at any point, see? At any point in the attack, you don't need to wait for the animation to end, you will interrupt your own animations to parry. You can ensure your own safety. Now, the fucking bad news, please, gentlemen, is that I just used all my leather. Like, actually all of it. Like, I actually don't have any more leather. So I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna make armor. Oh my god. Can I make any medium armor? The answer is a resounding no. We've spent a lot of time doing very, very, very little in the grand scheme of things. A lot of important prep, but to be honest, we haven't done enough prep. So here's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to the hinterlands, we're going to rescue Mother Giselle, and that will be something we've done today that is actually forward progress. This is going to be slow, but I didn't realize how slow it was going to be. Truly. There we go. We made the weapons. Ah, uh, this is an important conversation. We should probably do that there first. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He killed Faria, one of my best agents. Yeah, that sucks. And knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean, painless if you can. We were friends once. This is well for me personally. Maybe not for everyone else, but this is an interesting, quote unquote, moral dilemma, because on the surface. It's not a dilemma at all. One of our agents went rogue, killed one of our other agents. Send an agent to go kill them. That makes sense. That is completely logical. And the idea that I'd be like, wait, don't kill him, is absurd. But a line comes up later on that actually completely changes my mind when looking at this. And I'll let you know when we get there. Wait, what are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. Yeah, he did. And you'd kill him, just like that. You find fault with my decision? Now, you have to go full Paragon on this, and it feels ridiculous, but there is a good point here. We can't solve our problems with murder. And what would you suggest? Leave him be. Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemned one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. There it is, that's the crucial line. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this, but... 
Now is precisely the time for ideals. Yeah, that it actually is. That's the weird thing. You feel very strongly about this. I didn't before, I do now. <sighs> very well. I will think of another way to deal with this man. Apprehend Butler, but see that he lives. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Yes, like the first time I played this and she was like, you know, I don't have the luxury of ideals at a time like this. And in my head at the time, I was like, well, yeah, you know, this is a, a pretty, this is an insane situation. We have to do what must be done in order to survive. The entirety of humanity is at risk. But as I grew older and saw that scene again, I was like, yeah, I, I realized that I disagreed with her because I was like, ideals, by their very nature, their strength comes from how much stock you put in them and how much you're willing to defend them. If you throw them away the moment things get difficult, you may as well have not had it in the first place. In fact, you may as well not have that ideal at all. Ideals are tested by adversity. That's when they're valuable. There's no, there is absolutely no value to an ideal if it's not being tested. Because I could, you can say whatever you want. I could sit here and say, I, you know, I, I approve of Black Lives Matter. You know, like, I, I fucking, I, I hate how black people have been treated and I think they should be just, now I think things should change. But if I've never been challenged on that front in any way, shape or form, or for it was not considered a, a controversial or subject that could be opposed, or that people weren't opposing it or anything like that, if it wasn't being tested, that ideal is meaningless. I could say that all day, it doesn't mean anything, really. Not until you're tested. That's when it counts. And it's weird that a video game taught me that, but you'd be surprised how much you learn from games, actually. Strategy games taught me to deal with life when a lot of stressful things were happening all at once. Because it's all about isolating certain things. You solve the smaller things, and then you solve the bigger things as a result. Playing Total War, it's like, oh, four of my settlements are under siege. And it's like, okay, yes. let that settlement go. Save this one. That frees up more of our forces to go deal with everything else. Video games is strange. I don't know how to... I don't know, it's strange. It's strange, it's all strange. Forward Scouts is also really useful to have. We'll start with secrets, because it is so useful to have um, quarries and logging stands marked on the map, because you're going to need them later on. And it's just nice to not have to scrape around the countryside looking for them. We got a Captain Longsword, excellent. There's actually nothing else going on here at the moment in terms of operations. Liliana's still working on gathering coin. 13 minutes left on that front. So let's go to the Hinterlands. I think I'm probably going to get wrecked. I think I'm actually probably going to get wrecked by trying to go here so early. But, on the other hand, I want to do something. I'm rapidly running out of time. I'm going to have to stop recording soon. I want to do something to move forward. I think we can... I say we... I guess this is more I. I think I can justify having these episodes where there's a lot of prep work and a lot of logistical stuff if we make some progress. If we just take even the smallest step forward, it's still a step forward and I can feel better about it. I don't know. Let me know what you think about all this. Your input will be invaluable in how I structure these videos because I do have a way in which I'm planning on presenting this series, but input is invaluable. And that feedback is super important. I want this to be entertaining. If it's not entertaining, what's the point of me putting on the internet? World of Andraste. I've heard ah, the best girl. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, oh. all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Shush. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. That's hilarious. When you first load into this area, did you hear the music that was playing while Harding was talking? Th those were the same notes, the same arrangement as, um... Ah, uh, what's it called? Samson's... Is it Samson's Lament? The song, the tavern song about Samson. It's the exact same notes. Go back and listen to it, but it is actually the same note arrangement, which is fascinating. I am pleased to meet you, Harding. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You have your own song as well. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. Sure. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. 
Maker only knows if he's even still alive. I'm gonna have to cut apart. Mother Giselle's aren't I? at the crossroads, helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. To be fair, there are a lot of opportunities for resources, experience gains, so much stuff and so much potential available at the crossroads. It's good to come here and sort this out. I was just hesitant to do so because you get thrown into some quite difficult fighting immediately. Oh, apparently they can level up. Oh, gee, oh, geez, I need to level up my dudes. Get the Vanguard tree. Warcry, yes, Warcry, Jesus Christ, Warcry. Need to uh, get their attention. Guardian Spirit, we want to try and keep Solace alive as much as we can. He's pretty fucking fragile. Ow. Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. I'm sure she is, but we need to check this funny-shaped house first. It's very important. There's good stuff here. There was I just saw that there was royal elf fruit, which is amazing. Come to this little house as soon as you get to the hinterlands to get royal elf fruit. So useful. Hard to find. All right, here we fucking go. You're not hostile. No, you're not. I thought I just got scared for a moment. Oh, we're gonna need that Inquisition iron. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Excellent. Looks like they could use a hand. Yeah, probably they could. Let's get in there and cause some issues. We are not Fuck, I missed. I do not think they can see us. See, this weapon is very good. It's very good. It's very good. Very good weapon. But this is far from over. Alright, we're gonna need to be careful. Have they got an uh, they've got a mage over there? We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Wait for it. Go on. Now fuck him up. Can't let him do shit. Mages are very fucking dangerous. Especially these spellbinders. There we go, took care of him. Yes. Can't stop me. Been playing this game for years, son. He's dead. There should they be more Templars on the way. Yeah, they're heading up through there. Be ready. More coming our way. Where are they? There they are. There's a big boy over there, so we're gonna have to be careful. First thing we want to get rid of is that fucking archer. And he's dead. Sometimes it be that easy, though. Yeah. These... Got him. Got him. There we go. Oh, he's in big trouble now, lads. He's in big trouble. He's got nothing. He doesn't stand a chance. There we go. He's there causing problems. There we go. We are victorious All right. once more. That actually went better than I thought, to be honest. I thought that would go a lot worse. But we did it. We did it. Obviously, my weapons were a key factor there, but strategy and tactics is important too. In quotation marks. Get rid of their ranged units first, obviously. Parrying is important too. Hey, buddies. I saved the day. Did you see it? Yeah, you saw it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's my flag. That's a cool flag. You'll have to excuse me, I'm covered in blood. Because I got in there and I made shit happen. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... You can heal no people, the shit's nuts. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Suffer. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I have a name, you know. I have an actual name. Not through any choice of mine. <laughs> we seldom have much say in our fate. I'm sad to say. It's true. So you agree with them? I don't presume to know the Maker's intentions for any of us. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. 
Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. It was a big old sad what time. It was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. It does. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. I mean, if they just saw me in that fight, they might think I am a demon. Give them something else to believe. I like baking cakes. Would they like some cakes? They want to execute me, and you think I should just walk up to them? You are no longer alone. They cannot imprison or attack you. They could try. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not just sending me there to fucking die? So I show up, say hello, show them the mark on my hand. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. Lovely. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Thank you. Did you like my did you like my axes? I spent like an hour making them. It took a really long time. It killed those guys. It was very cool. You see them? The cool weapons. Corporal Vale is coordinating oh. the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. Oh, uh, Cassandra, did you see them? Look, look. No, you're looking up. No, she's facing away from the axe. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave that one there, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an hour and a half and I've done very little. I think for the next episode, uh, in between now and then, I'm gonna go around Haven collecting like iron and nug skin and whatnot, leather, whatever, and I'm gonna craft my party like an actual proper set of gear. So we'll be reasonably well, well equipped, reasonably well prepared, and we'll be able to go through the hinterlands properly. Oh yes, this. I forgot about this. Uh, I can't skip it either. All right, we'll do this first. The most holy lies. Your kind, let her die. <laughs> Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. Yeah. And what does that <laughs> mean, exactly? I but show up to be just, inconvenient. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. By stabbing people who annoy me. Back to your duties, all of you. So we need power to approach the Chantry in Valerio. That's fine, we don't have enough- We're not a high enough level to go there at the moment anyway. You actually want Josephine to be doing this because she requires the least amount of time. Alright, well yeah, now I can actually end the episode there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, next time, we'll be coming- Before the episode even starts, my party will have a full set of decent equipment. I'll walk you through that so that you know what you kind of want to make at this early stage. Like, it's not too important to be specializing your equipment at this early stage and, like, getting optimal equipment and all that shit. You just want stuff that gives you the highest armor and the highest damage with some relatively decent bonus effects. These blades, for instance, are fantastic. And provided I can upgrade them with higher tier, like, metals and stuff, I will pretty much be using these weapons for the rest of the playthrough. Although, sadly, it won't be rip and tear. I'll have to think of new dual weapon names. If you've got a good one in the comments, then please let me know. <clears throat> or if you've got good weapon names in general, I might give them to the other characters. But I digress. None of that actually matters. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time. And yes, we'll be doing a lot of fighting and a lot of progressing next time. So hopefully I'll be able to show off more about what you need to do in combat to actually be good on the Nightmare Run. But hopefully that will be enough to bring you around and I'll see you there. Doodles. Goodbye. Enchanters, the time has come to be alive in the circle of my child.